Hey folks, welcome out to the backyard today. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do a dessert. We don't do, often do a lot of desserts for you. And the dessert we're going to do today is more an assembly than it is a cooking. And it's a dessert that a lot of people that have health issues, watch their sugar, all that stuff, can tailor this dessert to fit you exactly. It's very, very simple. Anybody can do that. If you're a beginner cook, a beginner Dutch oven cook, whatever, this is your recipe. So starting out, we're going to use one box of white cake mix that I should have already opened. Just one box, whatever kind you want. Now this, this cake mix comes in different types you can get gluten-free cake mix you can get uh sugar-free cake mix so this is where you can take this as long as you use one box of white cake mix i did tear a very big hole in that and folks i'm gonna have to shake this all over me and everybody else to get it out of here the only thing i'm gonna say is when you get a cake mix Make sure you get one that requires one cup of water because that's a trick to what we're going to be putting in here. And this cake mix here calls for three eggs. Now, you can use egg substitutes for this if you want. Your cake will be a little more dense when you do that from my experience. But you can use a cake substitute. I mean, not a cake substitute. You can do the egg substitute. Got a little shell jumped off in there. This cake mix also calls for a half a cup of vegetable oil. Now, this cake calls for one cup of water. Here's where we're going to change it. We're going to use one cup of orange soda water. Because we're making this cake an orange cake. You can use sugar-free soda water. You can do this however you need to for your situation. Again, gluten-free cake mix, and you go to a cake, I mean, an egg substitute, anything like that, be fine. And we want to add one cup of orange soda water. Now, you don't want to use orange juice for this. Your cake won't come out very good if you do it like that. You want to use orange soda water. We're just going to beat this batter together a little bit. And as we do that, we're just going to talk to y'all. Uh, we've got, some of y'all have been asking events that you can go to where we're at. The next public event that we have scheduled is March the 9th in Texarkana, Texas. It's going to be, I believe, the 6th or the 7th annual Wagons for Veterans in the Texarkana area. It's going to be at the Four States Fairground. There'll be probably 15 wagons up there. There'll be a lot of veterans doing some cooking as well. But uh, y'all are more than welcome to come on out. It's for a good cause. You can buy a little bit of money and get out and taste the food off of a whole bunch of different truck wagons. And we will be there and try to uh, entertain you as best we can while we're there scrape this around the edges just a little and again folks this is a cake i saw this recipe a long time ago on tv and uh at that particular time i had some folks i was having to watch how i cooked and so this was the recipe we took and made a dietary cake out of it we used a special cake, white cake mix that didn't have sugar in it. We used sugar-free soda. And we used the egg substitute. And it came out just fine. When you use an egg substitute, anytime we go it's not natural, your cake wants to be a little more dense. So just be careful with that when you cook it. There you go, folks. Now we're going to cook this in a Dutch oven. We've got a 12 inch shallow. And we're going to cook this. I always do things for y'all that are a little different. 
The reason we're using a Dutch oven that doesn't have legs is I'm actually going to put it in here on my smoker instead of on the ground with coals today to bake it. The thermometer's on here, whether or not they're right or not. We're up to about 325 earlier. I opened up the firebox, so naturally it got a little cooler. We had the Dutch oven over here, keeping it a little warm because it is a little chilly out here. We're going to use the Chuck Wagon Cook's best friend, a little bit of pan. Because we will flip this cake out of here. And I may have got a can of pan that doesn't have anything in it. I was thinking I was going to use it up. But again, we're going to be in Texarkana, Texas. Now, some of y'all think, well, is Texarkana actually Texas or is Texarkana Arkansas? It's on a state line, folks. There's a street down the downtown of Texarkana that separates half the towns in Texas and half the town is in Arkansas. But we're going to be there for a Wagons for Veterans event. And please come on out and see us. Y'all notice I got my cameraman back, camera woman back, so I didn't have to go run in the house and get Pam. All right, we sprayed this up pretty good. Let me get this cake off in here. Now remember, when you do a cake, I try not to beat the batter terribly. I try to get it mixed very well. But I try not to just beat the batter to death. I think you can overwork a cake batter. There's probably some culinary folks out there that can give you the perfect exact reason why you're not supposed to do that. All I know is the cake gets really tough if you beat it really hard. Okay, folks. Now, I will rotate this Dutch oven on here because the heat's going to be going this way through the smoker. So I will keep it turning. But if I have a Dutch oven in here with legs on it, it's too tall to the lid to close. That's why I use the one without lid. Without legs. We're going to let that cook for a little bit. I'll we'll pop back in here in a few minutes and decorate this cake. Hey everybody, welcome back out here. We got our cake pulled off the barbecue pit. We got it in this Dutch oven, and we're going to attempt to flip this cake out for you. So, it's easy to try to flip out onto the lid of a Dutch oven. I got my little whiz brain. See, I'm not used to using all these little fancy things. It didn't come out. Let's give this another shot, folks. You just might have seen us have one stick. There we go. Just need a little persuasion. We're a little darker than I like on a cake. But, hey, it'll eat them just fine. Now let's talk about the topping. We're going to use Cool Whip, which, again, we've been talking about this cake. We've talked about diet reasons and health reasons and things that you can make this cake dietetic. So, Cool Whip doesn't have anything in it. There's very little cholesterol. 
hardly any sugar, anything like that in there. So it's very easy and safe for you to use as a icing. And that's why we're using it here today. We're going to use some of that leftover soda water. And here again, you can use your diet soda water if you would prefer. We don't want to put a whole lot in it first. This will make this Cool Whip a little runny. We just want to put enough in there, maybe a tablespoon or so, to see if we can add some orange flavor to it. We want to gently fold this around, not stir it aggressively. And while I'm doing a little mixing here, I said earlier we're going to be at the Four States Fairgrounds in Texarkana, Texas. And we will be there and we would enjoy everybody to come out and see us, visit with us if there's time for us to visit. But at least come by, say hello. And if you're one of our followers on Facebook, it's always good to put a face with a name. So come on out and see us. It's for veterans, folks. So if you had to drive a little bit to get there, it's for a good cause. Come on out. All right, we've got this mixed up a little bit. I'm going to add just a touch more. I may regret adding a touch more, but we're going to add a touch more. There we go. That looks like we want. Again, this will be a little thinner because we're adding a little liquid to the Cool Whip. And since we're not doing anything super fancy, we just want to do the top of this cake, folks. We're not going to do the sides. Get some of this Cool Whip up here. Now you could grate you a little orange zest if you wanted, but I'm keeping this recipe right now really, really simple. I want everybody to have a chance to try this. There's no really other than baking the cake which is follow the directions on the box there's not any culinary challenges to doing this cake and more or less it's a mixing of things together like this icing or what we're using for an icing it's really cool whip with soda water mixed in it i mean anybody can do that you can't hardly go wrong with that one so uh we do try to do some complicated things every once in a while, but we do some simple things too. And depending on how you decorated this cake, uh, it wouldn't look simple, folks. You could scrape your little orange peel, put your little orange twist on top of this, and uh, people think you slay for hours to get this cake done. You don't have to tell them any different. But cooking out on a chuck wagon, for people on a ranch or anything like that, this is an easy cake to throw together. Now, let's make it a little pretty. We got a little can of mandarin oranges here. We're just going to plop us some mandarin oranges on top. These really don't add anything to the flavor. They are just simply for looks and to make it pretty. And if you want to put these in a design or something like that, you're more than welcome to do that. And if it's for a holiday, this cake will certainly support other type of decorations. You can even stick a birthday candle or two in here if you want. All right, folks, you want to come on in here and take a look at this? This is one of the most simplest cakes you can do. And you be creative on your design, how you want to put it on here. We didn't bring a plate or a fork, so I'm not going to slice it. But you can take a look at this. This is an easy, easy, easy cake. Didn't take no time at all. No culinary skills required. So folks, come on out and see us in Texas, Canada in a few weeks or a month. But enjoy your food.